Hey guys, welcome to KB Tutorials. So in my previous video on Taiko, we have seen the basics of Taiko like how to open a browser, how to navigate to the web page and how we can uh, save the uh, Taiko code into, into the script and how we can execute. All those things we have seen. If you have not seen, please do watch that video as well and in this video i am going to show you a different property like how we can open an incognito window and how we can close an incognito window in taiko we are going to see so the api references were presented here so i am going to put this in a description as well so that you can go and check out all the options available so uh, what we'll do is first of all let's open the taiko in script mode so just type taiko you will see the script mode so first let me open the browser as i said previously taiko will only support the chrome browser so this is my chrome browser then here open incognito window this is the Actually, this is this is what we call a uh, step open incognito window and where you want to navigate. Let me give something like google.com google.com and the name let me give something like if you see here this is a structure okay so all the things you can give here this is where you want to navigate and is where you want to mention so let me give like name is uh, something like window one. now if you see it is navigated to the google chrome page now if you see here it is in incognito mode this is the difference from the other things normal things so incognito mode when you type something the history won't be saved okay so then you can also open other another uh, incognito mode here incognito window let me open something like facebook page is equal to if I give this window one what happens is like it won't accept because the name should be unique so let me try to give here you could see there is already existing window or tab with the name window one so for this incognito the first one Google page the name is window one and that will be constant so let me give something like window two here so now it is opening my Facebook page. Okay. And there were a couple of other options also available. So it is loading. Till it loads, it will be like this. I cannot open, I cannot type other uh, commands here because in the background it is loading. Okay. And there were other options to this are something like navigate, navigation time mode wait for the navigation after go to so what is the maximum amount of time that you want to wait here once you click on go to so by default it's 30 seconds now you could use this as well and others other are also there which i don't think is much useful if we have then we'll try to see in other videos now you could see this one I'm adding another property here take another incognito window now you could see it is also coming now we have already understood like what is a minimum man minimum mandatory fields for incognito window the minimum mandatory field is a name and the url where it want to you know navigate to then how we can close this incognito window if you see here there were a couple of incognitos windows this is a one first one second one 
I think there were three incognito windows. Three are there. How do I close that? So simple close incognito incognito window and give the name of the window. Let me give window to it should be in the quotes. Window to so one will be gone. In a similar way, one of them should be closed. So the operation is happening. So let it happen. So close window. If you see here, close incognito window and window name is a uh, thing. I mean, that is a syntax here. Okay. So I have given this window to, so we got this. Now, let me give something like window one, that is gone, window three. Done. Now let me close this browser. Close browser. Gone. Now let me save this code. Dot code incognito demo dot js. It got saved. Then come out. If you go to this particular path, now you could see this is a code that has been generated just go here now you could see i am opening the incognito window with this syntax closing the incognito window with this syntax the name is mandatory field here in order to open and close as well okay now let me run this in a script to mode simple npx x taiko incognito if i run this it is running in a headless motion so it is happening but i am not able to see anything all these things open browser the past things you could able to see everything is now you could see this one but you are not able to see the result so once it is completed what i'll do is i'll try to show you in a UI based so it's easy to identify now you could see as per the syntax it is open the browser it is opening a incognito window 1 incognito window 2 now it's trying to open incognito window 3 after that it should close the incognito window 2 then incognito window 1 then incognito window 3 it should close them step by step but I think it will take little bit of time so we should allow that as well. So uh, in the meantime guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I strongly recommend you guys to subscribe and uh, press that bell icon so that I'll it will be a very big boost for me. Whenever I'll upload a video, you will also uh, see that, see my uh, videos. So. window 3 if you see here i have given this much amount of time so it is taking more time here okay because of that it is taking more time so let me try to terminate this and show in observe one second let me give something like ready seconds so let me give let something like 40 here and i have saved it right i have saved it now let me try to run this it should be a little more faster now you could see in a browser mode we are executing these scripts it's pretty easy i recommend you guys to practice 
and do let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section so that I can help you more on this. Now you could see of one after another everything will get created. These are the three windows which are getting created.